All right, uh, hello and welcome. Um, so this year I've been using a facilitated classroom model um, to teach biology and Lynn asked me uh, to show it to you guys. So the best way I could think of to do that was just to, to bring you in and kind of let you maybe see it in action. It's kind of hard to explain otherwise. Um, so I'm calling this, um, this little talk right here, Facilitated Classroom, the what's, why's, and how's. Okay, so what is a facilitated classroom? If you're aware of what a flipped classroom is, um, a facilitated classroom is very similar, except that instead of watching the videos at home, uh, all the assignments can be um, done in class, and the teacher is really there um, to act as the, you know, this guide by the side and kind of help them through as they have any questions on any assignment. Um, I think that maybe one of the more powerful things that this model does is it gives students um, some choice on the timing and sequence of their assignments. Um, you know, even so much as choosing some assignments over others that they think would be best for them. Um, so that's kind of what it is. What it should look like when you walk in, it, that's a more, maybe a more difficult question. Um, maybe it should ideally kind of look like organized chaos in, in some ways because you're going to have students doing all different things. Um, some students might be watching video lectures, some students might be reading books, some students might um, be writing, taking notes, doing um, active assignments. Um, and as a teacher standing in the middle of that, you kind of are the orchestrator of it and keeping people on track and asking questions. Um, so hopefully that's what you see today when you walk in. Uh, and, you're, and I hope you don't feel daunted by it, uh, although sometimes I do. Uh, so why? Uh, here's kind of a, a list of the reasons why I did it. Um, but really, I guess why I did it was, um, in addition to this, is I just I wanted to do something different. Um, I, I didn't like the direct model of instruction, and I thought there was a better way. And this is uh, what I've come up with uh, so far. Um, but all of these things I found to be true. Um, okay, so the how, um, I can only speak to how I do it. There's many different ways to do that, and next I'll give you some resources, uh, maybe to start you on your journey if you decide to, to, to try this out. Um, so I make weekly or biweekly plans. I call them task sheets. There's an example of one here. Um, and you really need some method for students to receive, plan, and choose the assignment. I have a website this year. Um, next year I'm going to use Schoology, but you could also do this in class um, with paper. It would be fine. Um, there has to be some formative assignment or assessment. Um, that's kind of what keeps the, the students um, honest in their learning goals and you know, working for their own learning is they have to, they have to um, show their knowledge and that that should be a formidable gate for them. And then I have um, always um, an enrichment, what I call it enrichment, and that's just an assignment to deepen and broaden the topic for those those advanced students to do after they, they complete it. And again, uh, I don't want that to be more work for the, those students. I want that to be more maybe a, a fun assignment or one they can collaborate with their friends, um, something like that. It's just more isn't enough. It has to be something different and, and better, if you will. All right, so resources. Um, really what kind of got me on this path is I watched this great video by Sir Ken Robinson about um, you know, how, we, how we suck um, kind of the happiness out of, out of uh, learning in, in this profession sometimes. And so it, you know, injecting that back. Um, and that's been kind of a key goal of mine through this. Uh, Paul Anderson, uh, he also has a TED Talk here. Um, He's kind of the first person that I saw doing it. He just happened to be teaching biology. And so I, I've um, Skyped and I've emailed a lot with him um, to get a lot of ideas and, and kind of set me on my way. Edutopia, great resource. Um, <laughs> uh, not only does uh, it have like a whole, a whole section for flip classroom and facilitate classroom, but also there's a pr really great community of teachers on there that they have a blog that you can you can talk with and, and bounce ideas and get ideas from. And then Paul Anderson, again, he has a great website um, for teachers, a teacher section on how to, how he, how he did it, and um, you know, some best practices. Okay, so um, that's that's what I have for you. I hope you, when you come in, you uh, you like what you see. Uh, I'm busy today. Uh, we have a test tomorrow. But feel free to you know uh, talk to any of the students. And if I have time, you can pull me aside and ask me any questions also. Uh, but thank you very much. I hope you, uh, you enjoy what you see. Thank you.